Jesus. Let's give the Lord some praise tonight.
uh, as we know that it's them this time, but it could be us next time. And so let us be in prayer for them as uh, they go through this time of bereavement. Also, uh, we do thank God that tonight, again, is the first night of our series of Fridays uh, for our summer Bible. And we're so glad that uh, Mount Pistol is with us on tonight. They were with us last year, and God saw fit for us to come together again this year. Uh, but we ask that. Please be reminded, don't just stop tonight. Uh, you can uh, come on the next uh, three Fridays. Uh, we ask that you be in prayer as we have uh, those that are coming in uh, from various places. And the Lord would bless it. There ever was a time that we needed some prayer, that we needed revival. The time is now. Uh, we live in a time where revivals are seemingly like almost extinct. You don't hear much about revivals anymore. And if you hear something about them, you don't hear much about it. It used to be somebody was getting saved. Churches as well, that I still have a revival. So let us be in prayer uh, that the Lord would send a revival, uh, not just in Brothers Hill or wherever else it is, that the Lord would send a revival and that the people's needs will be met. We need Him to pour out, we need Him to give us more of Him. If we get more of Him, then we can love folks right, we can treat people right, regardless of how He treat you, He can still do them right. Amen. That's how you go to Lord in Christ. Amen. And it's not what they do to you. Amen. But it's how you respond to them. Uh, so let us be in prayer that the Lord would just revive us. And again, uh, on tonight as we go into the services, uh, let us be in prayer that the Lord would just have this way. Now, we've stalled long enough. Amen. And so with that being said, we just want to do what we have to do. Amen. Amen. Down at the cross, where I say, you're not going
Vista. Uh, we won't, uh, if you are ready, we won't ask you to come up because they don't want to hear from me. They want to give y'all a
your prayer and their prayer at the same time. Amen. And that's good news on tonight. Amen. 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 Uh, thank God for recognizing those that are coming in. We do uh, see Elder Norris is with us on tonight. We say amen. 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 And we want to certainly amen to Pastor Devin say amen. The Holy Spirit.
Amen. And we're still in the land of the living. Amen. Thank God again for this choir tonight. Blessing us through uh, the gift and ministry. They came the same. Amen. So we thank God for them as uh, they have blessed us. Amen. Now we're coming up. We ain't going down. We're going up. Amen. To the word of God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes the word of God will challenge us. Amen. But, amen, that's a necessity for us to go up. Amen. And so as we prepare to go up on tonight, our plates, amen, are empty. Amen. We make sure that we are ready to receive all that the Lord has for us. Amen. And again on tonight, we do thank God for Bishop Benton. We've already shared with you who he is. Amen. And so if you don't know, Amen. By the time that he is finished, you will know. Amen. So, tonight, if you're ready to receive the Lord, the word of God, say, Lord. Lord. Oh, that was kind of weird. Amen. You ought to sleep. You ought to talk like you do in the house. Amen. Say, Lord.
alluded to earlier, there's some who got up this morning just like you did with the intent on seeing tomorrow. Come on, come on. And unfortunately, the call was made from glory and now they're transitioning from time into eternity. But we thank God that we're still here. And while we're here, we might as well have to. Never one walks upon running, 
he or she must accept the fact that there are limits to one's stamina that must be overcome to reach that they have set for themselves. I remember starting out running and not being able to run a half mile without being winded. I would be exhausted and didn't feel like pushing myself to go any further. It didn't take very long before I realized that I would have to push through being out of shape to get in shape. Right of people who realize the same thing as he encourages fellow believers. Feel like a fighter or a runner that needs to draw from that inner strength to keep on moving forward. We can draw from the faith that we have in God. We can realize that a second wind is coming and we will still simply stay at it. So often we can get discouraged or disappointed by the things that life will bring. But we need the faith to continue pressing forward with the Lord. When we're running and we can get tired and almost worn out, but we must push through the lack of oxygen, the lack of being in shape, and the pain that comes from going farther than we've ever gone before. Yeah. Keep an eye on where we're running. Will you again help me tonight? Keep an eye on where you're running. The running outdoors is a wonderful thing for those who enjoy nature. For me, it is a stress reliever as I take in the beauty of God's creation and consider just how awesome God is. It enhances our overall well-being as we increase our lung capacity and the endurance. While we're running, it's important to keep our eyes on where that can cause us to sleep. In our walk with the Lord, when we're tired physically and emotionally, the enemy will attempt to cause us harm. That's why it's important to keep running in the straight and narrow way. If we don't, the appeal of the flesh becomes stronger and stronger. And before we know it, we're struggling with issues that even that take more of our spiritual vitality. And we're getting in greater danger of losing out before we catch our second wind. Our goal is to stay on course and keep moving forward. If we set for our faith, help us to continue to stay the course. If we're not careful, we can be so consumed with exhaustion that we lose our bearings and get off course. Watching where we're going allows us to realize that we are too close to our journey's end to quit now. Just another step or two and we'll get to where we're going. With our eyes fixed on the Lord, despite being tired and exhausted, we need to get serious with God. We realize that we need to watch how we are living. Verse 14 says, follow peace with all men and the holiness without which no man can see the Lord. There's a twofold element to watching how we're living that the writer describes here. First, there is a relationship that we have with one another. When the writer talks about following peace with all men, there's a view of those who have persecuted God's people. It's when all the things we cannot do.
message that we needed to hear as we build upon the foundation of the remainder of the month of August. I believe that y'all are fasting and praying and trusting God for some great things. And as you do that, I believe he's going to show up. And so if there's anyone tonight that just feels in your spirit that tonight will be a good night, when we go back to the building station, I'm running on empty.
hands. Sweet spirit in this place. Let's lift our hands and sing.
that when someone comes and goes, they will say, we have heard that God is with you. Father, we bless and praise you for this worship experience. We thank you, God, for the faithfulness that you've been praying. Thank you for those who trust their ways here tonight. Recognize they could have been elsewhere, yes. but they chose to be in the house of the Lord. Yes. Thank you again for Pastor Cobb and the invitation to come. And Father, we thank you for the reception that we received and have the willingness to accept what the Spirit has to say to the church. We pray now as we leave this place that let your presence go with us. Bless us with travel and mercy. We may arrive home, and when we get home, we will find everything like it was for me. Do it not for your glory. And now may the grace of God, the love of Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, best rule of our us now and so forever more. Let's all say amen. 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 amen.